first two starts, he's got to keep it going. But he starts his drive with a handoff to Paul Perkins, who bounces off one man, but can't get away from Bronson Kafusi, who we met with yesterday. He told us these are the cuts up their pace the past couple weeks as the season's worn on. Penetration blew this one up initially, but Perkins somehow navigates for five, and it's second down and five. But the Pac-12's lead. Perkins again. Steps out of the tackle. And Paul Perkins makes a move and takes it inside the 30. 44 yards and a UCLA first down. More than 10 yards of carry so far. Perkins are running back to begin this possession. He's got it behind a pulling guard. Brad Warner grabbed him first, couldn't hold on. And that BYU rallied with Graham Rowley getting credit for the tackle. Solid. On these smaller outside linebackers for BYU. On second down, he wants Mossy Johnson instead, throws a ball that's tipped. He was looking for Tyler Scott on the crosser, and it's third down and and one of the ways of affecting the quarterback is just being able to get penetration in his face and getting your hands up. In that particular case, trying to confuse the freshman Rosen. Ten men standing for BYU. They bring only three. Rosen with time to scan the field and throws behind his intended receiver. It was Scott again. A little bit deceiving. Nebraska had 130. Boise passed the football a bit more. Perkins moves the chains. And if you're UCLA with a true freshman quarterback, why would you even go away from this? Second and ten. Perkins trying to get outside. Brendel seals the edge, but Warner able to fight through a block with Harvey Longy third down. He giving exotic looks to Rosen. All 11 men stand. Can Rosen diagnose? Well protected. Gets rid of it in the end zone and incomplete. It's fourth down. With the pressure from Bronson Kafusi. Zero sacks coming into this game. That's BYU's blueprint. They'd like to get to the quarterback, get some hits on him, make him feel it early in the game. And he said, but he's having a heck of a game in the, his defensive pass coverage. Jamabo. Ball came up. UCLA fell on it. They pick up a few, and it's third down in five or six. Rosen sets his foot, throws incomplete. Nakua had an interception right in his hands. Can hold on to it. Perkins back in the game, has the ball across the 40. Red Warner makes the tackle as Perkins gets five. And the center, Jake Brindle. Ten men stand for BYU. Pressure leaks through. Rosen running out of time. In zone, picked off. Third interception of the first half belongs to Kai Nakua. Part of going up against one of these defenses where you don't even have everyone over the center. So you're trying to figure out if you're hot, you have a free guy coming, and it gets your eyes off your first read. Now Josh Rosen's trying to play catch up, looking downfield late, doesn't see Kai Nakua, the ball hawk, the BY Cougar, BYU Cougars. Josh Rosen. They need to run the football a little more effectively and help Josh Rosen with his reads. They go to Perkins, so they do go back-to-back -back runs and make it third down and manageable. The field shrinks here, though. The field shrinks, and for a young and square to the line of scrimmage, and he just finds the open space and plunges through. He's got great vision for a running back. You see it there. And he plunges into the end zone for the UCLA touchdown. The Bruins ride Perkins. Behind center, Jake Brindle. Left guard, Kenny Lacey. Right through the middle of the defense. The perk, you want to play a little more protective with the football, but still got to play your game. In the meantime, they've been riding Paul Perkins, redshirt junior running back. You got to help Paul Perkins out with his chin scrap there. Perkins pulled down by Jeremiah Leuta Duyer on 46 yard line. Here's Starks. Graham Rowley with the tackle, second down. He's on his hip and get his hands right in between Jordan Payton's. Perkins stepped out of the tackle, then got stepped up. It was Longy in there first. By Paul Perkins. Did get five on that last play. Here's Perkins again.
shifting his way for a UCLA first down. Well, this was one of the concerns thing right now is they're allowing to create seams in the defense. It's allowed. Push, push game. Get that ball, get that ball. Perkins has a first down to the 35-yard line. At the top of the screen, one-on-one -on -one down low. It's a comfortable amount of time where you've got your full offense at your disposal. When well, Nate Starks is just going to come off the edge of the line of scrimmage, we talked about BYU blitzing and then opening up 